Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with another post review. Um, this is an exciting kit because it's the first kit from this shop that I've worked on. Um, so this is Emperor Penguins from True Artist DP. They have an Etsy shop where they sell licensed artwork. Um, how cute is this? This is a 50 by 50 centimeter um, painting. It is a square drill. There are 29 colors, no special drills. And the artist is Gwen Seamel, or Seamel, Seamel, I'm assuming. Um, I was really excited to work on this kit. I've had it in my stash for probably about a year, honestly. Um, I think pretty early on when this shop opened on Etsy, I went over to see what they had and I really liked this painting. I thought it was super cute and I ordered it. I have not purchased any anything since. I really wanted to try this kit before I went over and made another purchase. Um, and I have some thoughts. So let's start with the things that I really enjoyed about this kit. Um, I think the square drills are great. I think, I mean, you can see, I do multi-place, so there are some spots where you can see some gapping, um, but that's definitely a me problem and not a drill problem. I think the drill quality was great. Um, the poured glue was fabulous. I didn't have any issues with super like slick spots. Um, I really liked how the glue held on to the drills. There was also a surprising amount, like a mix of confetti and color blocking. So, which is, is perfect for me in a painting. I like a healthy dose of both. Um, but you can see like over here, this is all the same color, but then when you get up to like this colorful background, there's more color changes. And I think that that's great. I, like I said, I enjoy that. It keeps me like interested in the painting when there's different, uh, different things happening. Um, there was one thing that I found interesting and it was... Like in the middle of the canvas, I will put a picture in here, but there was the canvas code and the size was printed in the middle. Um, and it, it kind of, it overlapped with some symbols. So I was able to decipher what those symbols were, but the printing was over the symbols, obviously. And I've just never seen that on a diamond painting before. And... I don't know. Um, like I said, this was a pretty early run from True Artists DP, so that could have just been something that they had going on at the time. I have not seen any of their newer kits, so I don't know if that's a normal thing. Um, it doesn't affect the finish for me because, like I said, I was able to decipher the symbols um, underneath the printing, but that's just something that I wanted to point out for you guys. I just thought it was interesting. I've never seen it before. Um, but now let's take a quick look at the drills. I did have a lot of static in this kit when I initially kitted it up. So you will see that there are dryer sheets in every container. Um, these drills did come in baggies and that's generally just an across the board thing for me. In kits that come pre-bagged, I always have static and I always have to use dryer sheets. It could be my climate. It could just be that method. I don't really know. It's not a deal breaker for me again. It's just a little extra step that you need to take. I just use tiny pieces of dryer sheets, put them in, shake it around, and they're good to go. Normally, I let my kits that are like that with a lot of static, they normally like sit for a day before I work on them. Um, and that just helps with the static. But as you can see here, I had plenty of every color. I wasn't concerned about running out. I don't need a lot of extra, you know, as long as I have enough to pick through a little bit, especially with square drills. I am a little more picky with the uh, drills that I choose to use, um, but really happy with the drills themselves. And I think that this is a great amount of, of leftover drills. Had I had a color that, um, completely ran out. I'm not really sure what the policy is with this shop. I obviously would have reached out on Etsy, um, but there are plenty of places that you can purchase drills for 
a pretty decent price. I also save all of my drills, so I would have had enough, um, I'm sure, to fix any problems. But again, drill quality was great. I was really happy with the squares. <clears throat> Excuse me. And for this being an early run of a kit, especially with a new shop where places are, you know, testing out def different manufacturers, I was really happy with the square drills. With that being said, I did have some trash. So let's grab a tray. And I just used this little, I don't even know where I got this from. Oh, macaron, macaroon. And, you know, there's a decent amount of trash in there, um, especially for a 50 by 50. But like I said, and like I normally say in my post reviews, as long as I have enough drills, I don't care what the trash situation is. But here is the trash that I had. I had a lot of drills that were like stuck to each other. Um, drills that had holes on the top and just little tabs on the sides. When it comes to square drills, like I think a lot of us, I am more picky about the drills that I'm placing just because I don't want things popping. And that is something that I want to mention. I feel like these drills fit together really, really well without any popping. I have not had any issues with popping drills. Um, and yeah, I think everything fits together pretty well. So here is a nice little look at this kit. I think it's so cute. One thing that I do want to mention is I think that this kit would have or could have benefited from being about 10 centimeters bigger on each side. So instead of a 50 by 50, making it a 60 by 60, I think that would have helped, especially with this little penguin. Had they have been like a little bit bigger, I think there would be less pixely colors. Um, but I think the, the larger penguin turned out really cute. I love all the colors. I just think that everything would have been just a little bit clearer had it have been maybe a 60 by 60 instead of a 50 by 50. But all in all, very happy with this kit from True Artist DP. I am very, very interested in trying out some of their newer kits. They have some really beautiful kits in their shop, which I think are relatively new. Uh, so you may be seeing something soon. Currently on a no-buy, so <laughs> not too soon, but hopefully I'll be able to pick up a newer kit from them and see the changes that they've made, if any. And uh, as you guys know, I like to show you the tools and accessories that I used on my kits at the end of my post review. So for my trees, I used the yellow Bella Art Dana Cole trays. I used this straightener, which is a hybrid from Madwood Turning. I love this yellow one. And this is a, I think a 12 straightener from Everlasting Tips. I used this pen from C'est Plus Beau à Tour. <laughs> uh, the colors weren't a perfect match, but I just loved this pen and I really wanted to use it. And I think the colors are still good, a pale yellow and a pale blue. This is a beautiful pen, I love that one. And I used this really cute penguin minder from Caffeinated Cat Crafts. I loved this. And this canvas is actually the first one that I sectioned off using washi tape. So that's why I only have one minder here. But I did like, I can't even remember, I think like 12.5 centimeter sections, would that be right? No, probably less than that. I don't remember. <laughs> um, I, I worked in pretty big sections because there was some color blocking. Um, but yeah, that was fun. I still think I prefer release papers, but it was cool to try um, the washi tape sectioning. I think it's something that I'll do every once in a while, especially maybe on these smaller size kits um, where like my normal release paper would be just a very large section. But anyway, I digress. Uh, really happy with this kit from True Artist DP. Excited to hopefully in the future try one of their newer kits. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this post review. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below um, or if you have worked on a kit from this company. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.